make sure first of all that electric capacity enough to run nitrogen generator system is secured and check that the pressure of control layer is within the specified range and each manual valve is opened. Then turn on the compressors for nitrogen generator system. Check that the operation mode remote is selected. And activate cooling water pump for the compressors. Check if the piping and hoses detached for maintenance of air treatment unit are all properly restored. Check that main control panel and heater control panel are turned on. At the same time, check that the operation mode remote is selected on heater control panel. Specify the order of activating the compressors on main control panel. The compressors selected here only run in 99.9% .9 purity mode or 95% purity mode with 50% capacity. Press lamp and buzzer test on main control panel and each monitor panel to see all the indicators work properly. Check that oxygen analyzer is ready for measurement. And sampling line select valve is turned to M2 line. Make sure that no abnormality is observed. For example, if such indicators as fail for electric source, low for control air pressure, or abnormal for the compressors light up. The interlock function interferes and the system cannot be activated. Now the system is ready to start. Check that 95% purity mode is selected and chain the operation mode to N2 from navigation. Select the capacity of either 50% or 100%. Press Nitrogen System Start and check that start lamp lights up. The system starts running automatically. The flow control valve automatically starts controlling the flow rate. Check that control lamp lights up and that the heater and the compressors run. Once oxygen content decreases to 5% and less, Nitrogen available lamps on main control panel and on CCR monitor panel flicker to let known that nitrogen gas is ready to supply. Press N2 Supply Start on CCR monitor panel to introduce nitrogen gas into cargo tanks. Nitrogen available lamps light up while nitrogen gas is being supplied. All the valves concerned automatically start their prescribed action. The main valve and the back pressure regulating valve automatically control the volume of nitrogen gas supplied to cargo tanks according to the pressure variation on deck main line. Pay constant attention to each component while the system is running. An alarm is given when abnormal condition is detected. If that happens, please consult troubleshooting on this DVD to deal with it properly. To stop the supply of nitrogen gas, press N2 Supply Stop on CCL monitor panel. That closes the deck main valves and the main valve and emit nitrogen gas into the air from the vent valve and the back pressure regulating valve. Nitrogen gas is no longer supplied but the compressors and the heater are still running. To stop the system completely, press Nitrogen System Stop. The compressors are stopped after the heater is cooled enough or 5 minutes after it is stopped. Stop lamp lights up when the system is completely stopped. After the system is completely stopped, 
change the operation mode to navigation from and to. Stop cooling water pump for the compressors. Nitrogen generator system automatically shut down when electric capacity falls below the sufficient level or the pressure on deck main line exceeds the prescribed level. When an emergency arises, press emergency shutdown switch on either main control panel or CCR monitor panel to shut down the system. Please refer to control table found in the final drawings of nitrogen generator system for the detailed information about the interlock function and alarms.